All right, this is um, let's let's play something. One more thing from the trail: Bernie Sanders in Iowa. Now we all know that Bernie dominates with young voters across the board. If you're under 40 years old or under 35 years old or certainly under 30 years old, I really think anybody who's in any way been defined by 2008 who's young, the expanding circles of capitalism not working for most people, right? Like the the gutting starts in the peripheries, right? If you looked at Reagan's America in the 80s and people talked about mourning in America, tremendous class and racial assault on the inner cities, huge gutting and devastation of Appalachias and rural areas that had never been taken out of poverty. And then of course, a broader assault and reversal of the gains made by the Great Society and the New Deal. And then that has carried on through, uh, really in, in a general sense, Clinton, Bush, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Obama, Trump, with varying degrees. Uh, but the context that was created by the neoliberal consensus, all of these people have actually been operating under, even, even in fact, Trump, frankly, on just the far right wing um, of the Republican Party. And, and, and as we see neoliberalism give out, the xenophobia rises. But anyways, young people across the board and from a broad variety of backgrounds have had the experience of diminished living standards, diminished prospects, diminished opportunities. And that's why the clarity of the Sanders campaign with student debt cancellation, Medicare for all, and all of the fundamental bread and butter issues we need, as well as a real no bullshit understanding of the 1% versus the 99%, how power actually works in this country economically, has spoken to them. And that's why he's mobilized so much. That's why he's already made some dent in remaking our politics. And now if we want to see this through, which is electing Sanders president, you got to get out there and see it through. This is Bernie Sanders in Iowa. If your generation does not vote in anywhere near the numbers that it should. The older generation votes in significantly higher numbers than your generation. And if you could vote at the same rate as the older folks, we could transform this country. And I beg of you to do that. I'll do the caveat. Sure, of course, not just voting. It's many things. But because you don't vote, and let's be real, this is why you're terrorized by student debt collectors. This is why you have the kind of court system that we have. This is why there's bills assaulting the sovereignty of women's bodies across the country. This is why you have skyrocketing inequality. This is why you have a global meltdown caused by Wall Street. And Wall Street gets bailed out and millions of people lose their homes. This is why you have diminished job prospects. This is why more and more people work for more and more for less and less. And particularly if you're on the young person across basically all demographics, unless you're an inheritor of great wealth, this all holds for you. Uh, you know, just mathematically, decreased earnings, decreased opportunities, and so on. You need to vote. <laughs> you got to. Especially now when you have someone who said, all right, I'm here. Here's a candidate who's taking on all of the oligarchy. He's taking on all of the corporate structure. He's going to give everybody health care. He's going to cancel medical and student debt. That's a frontal war with the interests that control not only this country, but global capital. And uh, luckily enough, all you need to do is phone bank and vote. You don't even need to go to the Sierra Mastra. <laughs> uh, Bernie which, won young people of every demographic. 2016 absolutely including young black people despite the narratives to the contrary well they're i mean we all know i mean the erasure i mean 2016 that was narrative then bernie builds the broadest working class coalition and then all of a sudden that apparently doesn't matter but we all know how these games are played you got to go phone bank all right um